So billets come in a variety of different weights and every weight is specific to a specific model and weight drop and fungo and youth and heavy trainer and stuff like that. So you can see the birch here starts right around 78 ounces. We have them all cordoned off different weights just so we don't have to root through a bunch of stuff to get to what we need. It goes the whole way up to the 90s, 93, 96, all the way up to 100, sometimes even heavier. We got 104 down here. So we have a variety of weights to make a variety of products. And right now I'm going to be making heavy trainers for the Yankees for spring training. They're getting 35 inch heavy trainers. That'll come out to about 40 ounces. Don't want to make them too heavy. Still need to be able to be swingable. Because the last thing you want to do with a heavy trainer is really change your swing path. It's all about muscle memory. So it has to be usable. You can kind of see here just the amount of skids that we have. We get about 10 to 12 every week. Uh, maybe even up to 20 a week for spring training, just to keep the wood fresh, keep the wood stocked and circulated and make sure you can meet everybody's needs on time. So another really important aspect when making a baseball bat is identifying handle and barrel. You need 20 straight grains, 20 inches of straight grain, I should say, for a, for a pro certified handle. We do that for youth, we do it for, you know, big sporty goods, website, whatever you're getting. And you can kind of see right here that little indicator is where a branch grew off of that tree. So this is going to be up in the barrel because that's actually a, a nice hard spot. But you don't want it in the handle. You don't want any abnormalities in the handle because it could run the risk of breaking the bat and nobody wants to break a bat. Just wait for the arms to come up. They take about 20 seconds to load. So the properties of birch are a little bit different than those of maple. The tensile strength of birch actually will get stronger and stronger the more it's compressed. The longevity of birch compared to maple is a little bit higher. So training products, youth bats, stuff like that, you'll get a lot more use out of it if you go with birch. It takes roughly two minutes to turn a bat. You don't want to run it too quickly or too slowly because that can cause warping in the bat. I don't know if I have a good example to show you, but actually I do. So this right here was a bat that warped, but we can't send that out to anybody. It can't go to a retailer. It can't go to a pro. It can't go to anybody. It can't go to website people. So this is going to be what we call an out, and it's because it's bowed. So when I get tags, it doesn't matter if it's website or, or pro or whatever, all the information I need is right there. So there's a couple different colors here. Blue is for website. Gray is for big box retail. Red is for rush, orange for pro, yellow is for international, and green is specific to, to big sporting goods. So these are gonna get orange tags put on them. And you can see a couple, couple pro guys I'm working on today. Mike Antico, Robinson, Chirinos, some minor leagues, major league, a good mix of both. So another important aspect of making baseball bats is programming them. We probably have five or 6,000 models. But just to show you what the heavy trainer I'm working on right now looks like when it's drawn up. These are all plotted points measured with a digital caliper. The lead-in's an inch and a half or 38.3 millimeters. And all these plotted points are points of contact that the knife has to make. So it follows this path to the barrel. And you can actually see that right here also. And if you listen really closely, you can hear the RPM slow down. That also cuts down on the, the warping and bowing. And that's what these things are right here. This is my feed rate. So how quickly it moves down the bed. And this is my RPMs, how quickly it spins. So 1600 RPMs is what it shuts down to. And we start it at 2400 RPMs. 
So that's episode one of Shop Life. There's still a lot more to show off to you guys. Check back for the next one.